Hi, my name is Otis. You're welcome to Otalium's Academy. So in today's video, we're going to walk you through how to set up your WordPress on your cPanel. Are you looking forward to start creating your website or your WordPress website or for your blog? This tutorial is definitely for you. So let's get started. So I'm going to log into my hosting account to go to the cPanel to set up my uh, WordPress, uh, my work to set up my WordPress. So I'm logging into this account. I use domaincode.com. Uh, the reason why I use domaincode.com because of their awesome service. They have a 24 hour support service and it is very, very important when you're selecting your web hosting to look for a uh, hosting company that run 24 hour support services. That's why I use them. So I'm going to sign into uh, my hosting account. So I'm going to put in my Signing in into my account uh, to begin to oh my god I made a mistake on the on my password. So I should get it right now. Okay, so uh, I'm right in my hosting account. So uh, if you look at this uh, um, human icon, they have the head. If you click it, it brings a drop down. So I go to the, my products. Uh, so it's going to take me into my product dashboard. So I'm going to look at, uh, this is the domain name that I want to set, my, set up uh, my WordPress account for. So it's called the DJs. So I'm going into my uh, web hosting account. So I've already made this purchase. My hosting account is set up. So if you're looking for how to buy and set up your hosting account, so you can look at our past videos on how to buy hosting and set up a hosting account on YouTube. So it's on Otalium's Academy. That's the channel. So I'm going to click here, manage. So it's going to take me into a different dashboard where we have the cPanel admin. So this is the cPanel admin. So um, don't, don't, don't worry about this. This is the primary domain on which my hosting account is set up on. So I'm going to click on uh, cPanel admin. So um, don't worry, the system's a little bit slow. Okay, come. So I'm right at the C panel. The C panel is called the control panel, where um, that's administrative panel uh, where you can actually begin to create your website. So uh, if you're a beginner, so you've set up your web hosting account, you buy your web hosting account, you've set it up and you bought your domain name. So the next thing is coming to the C panel where you will install your WordPress account. Uh, there are different uh, content management system to build your WordPress. So, uh, sorry, to build your website, but we are choosing WordPress because uh, WordPress is one of the most popular uh, software for creating a website about 34 percent of web developers use webs where where wordpress uh and is seo friendly seo is the acronym for search engine optimization so i'm going into to i'm going to add the domain that i've already bought purchased to link uh to my wordpress account before installing the wordpress so you go into on your c panel you go into add on domain to select the domain that you want to use for your website. So I click on the add on domain. So it brings me to this place. I'm going to create an add on domain account. So um, select the domain I talked about using djives.com, djives.com. Don't mind me, I'm, I'm, I'm a kind of domain freak. I have a lot of domains. Uh, so uh, you can also create the FTP account associated with this ad domain. So you can create the FTP account. It's important that as a beginner, we just want to take baby steps. So you can come later to create your FTP account. You can also do it at the same time. All you need is just uh, to create your password and your admin username. So in case if you're if somebody's helping you to build your website, for the person not to have access to your back end, so you can actually give them the FTP uh, uh, user login information so they can actually download whatever uh, stuff they want to download into your cPanel. Uh, so we're taking baby step, just like as I said, um, let's take it simple. Um, and simplify everything. So I'm going to click this to add it to our domain. So I click add domain. So 
So it's okay, great. So it said the add on domain, which is the DJ that I've chosen, which is going to be my website URL, uh, my website address. It said it has been created. So what do I do? I'm going to go back to the C panel. I go back here. You see the top left corner. There's just the home icon there. So you click the home. It takes you back to the C panel. So now I've added the domain. So I'm going to go down to look for this, uh, WordPress. Uh, the WordPress content management system. Uh, so these are those three websites I have. You can see they're already showing there. So um, if you look at the featured application, so you'll find your WordPress, there are other content management uh, system there, like the Joomla, the Drupal, the PHP, but I'm Magento. So I'm gonna use my WordPress. I select the WordPress here. So it brings me into the C panel dashboard also. Uh, this is the control panel. So uh, if this is showing my application, I already have three uh, websites uh, that is built on WordPress. So if you look here, you have installed this application. So that's where I'm going to click uh, to create a new application for the new website before installing my WordPress. So it brings me here. So if you look at this, it's or this shows that this website has already been, this comes by default, because if you look at the, uh, this domain name, it comes by default. But remember that we've already selected a new domain that I'm going to use uh, for my website, which is called the DJ. So I'm going to click this drop down menu to select the domain that I've, uh, that, that I've chosen. So I'm going to take the HTTP slash www.djive.com. You see, there are other options. You have the HTTP slash djive.com, HTTP.djive.com. Uh, https djive.com so don't choose this because you have not actually installed your sss certificate which is the sss stand for uh secure uh socket layer which is a kind of a security that protects your website so we've not done that so if you click that you're going to have problem while trying to build your website so i'm going to choose the http and select the www djive.com this is going to be my new website so uh this is optional directory so you can i am going to delete it you can add anything if you want but you can also leave it if you want it doesn't really matter so um the version we are using the 5.5 recommended version and our language we are setting our language uh, in english so it's already pre-filled for us so um so we're going to set the, we have accepted the license agreement i'll leave it the way it is uh we're going to look at the automatic update so it's, it's entirely up to you. It's your choice, whichever one that you choose. But uh, I choose uh, update to new version, especially if you're a beginner, because most time if you don't choose automatic update, so you have to go into your WordPress account, into your WordPress backend to update the plugins if they are updated. But the reason why most people don't choose update to new version because sometimes uh, it could break your site. But um, make sure that you have your backup. So I put, I, I used update to my new version. It is your choice. So whatever one you are comfortable with. Uh, so and I'm going to update my WordPress plugin as the new version becomes available. So, uh, here also as an automatic backup. Yes. I want my site to be, uh, to be backed up automatically. The reason is that if anything happened to your website, so you can restore it back to the last update. That's why it is important for you to back up your website so then you can go home and sleep so without worrying about anything happening to your site so uh mistake you could make mistake and your site goes down so um, here you have the administrator username this space is actually important because this whatever you fill in here gives you the access to the back end of wordpress because after installing uh, the WordPress. So you'll be logging in through direct through WordPress. So you're going to create a username. Uh, this is already pre-filled, but you can change it. Uh, whatever thing you want, I can put it, do jazz, I can do anything, do jazz. So I use this. So do jazz. So it doesn't matter what you choose. So you can choose your administrative password. Remember this, keep it somewhere. Um, you can, you can check this to see what the username that you've chosen, I'm going to hide it. So the administrator email is also very, very important because uh, whatever that is happening in your WordPress, so you get the messages through the email that you have given. Please, if you're, check, if you're entering the email, 
put the email that you check regularly. It is important because if anything is happening on your site, as rightly said, so you get notified on your email so you can fix it as, as soon as possible, especially if there are uh, 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 queries from uh, or comment from your users so you can respond to them as uh, as soon as possible. So. Uh, Website title, it all depends on you, what you want to choose as your title. Uh, so the tagline, you can do that, the best words to open company, the best digital marketing, it all depends on you. So um, this is simple information that is required. So after this, we're going to install the WordPress. So it's as simple as this. This is just taking less than five minutes for us to install. So this plus button, I will click on install. So. It's going to start installing the WordPress. You can see that it is processing. So come on, get this out. So it is already installing my WordPress. So once this is installed, so you have your WordPress site is published, is on the internet. So you can start building your, 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 your website or your blog. It's as simple as that. So, um, like I said, if you have not, uh, but uh, purchase your domain name or your hosting account. You can watch our subsequent video to see how you can uh, set up your hosting and buy your domain name. So this uh, our WordPress software has been installed to add your password. Uh, so I want to say thank you for watching this presentation. So I look forward to see you uh, in our subsequent videos. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notification when uh, we publish new videos. And you can also get customized videos uh, of how to uh, grow your business online, how to set up your website. So thank you for watching.